The Martian Embassy is a project in Sydney, Australia, for a story factory. It's essentially a creative writing centre for children. And uh, the idea is that children get transported to another planet, therefore the Martian Embassy. So you come in, um, are greeted by the ambassador, you have to get your passport stamped, you get a map of Mars, you get a telescope, and all these things that kind of transport you. And by the time you arrive in the school where you're supposed to write stories, you forgot that you're actually in a school. So it's really about unleashing the creativity within the children. And uh, from there on, the entire brief was about how to translate that into a spatial experience. So the space is kind of a mix between a spaceship, between the inside of a whale, or uh, it has been described as a time tunnel as well. It's a series of ribs, of plywood ribs, that describe a kind of fluid experience of space. And um, the use of light very much supports this idea of fluidity and um, time travel. The obvious example uh, World Architecture Festival this year, because we're in Singapore, uh, is the Gardens by the Bay project. Now, to achieve that has been rather extraordinary collaboration because clearly the landscape architect um, conventionally is not a designer of structures or buildings. Um, so there has to be an architect, then there has to be a structural engineer, very significantly because they did not want this, um, these spaces in the two gigantic greenhouses, let's call them. They did not want them to be um, air conditioned. They wanted this to be an example of sustainable environmental design. So an environmental designer was then called in who has produced an ingenious scheme basically to chill fresh air, then release it up uh, into the two greenhouses creating a very temperate climate. Now this is, this is a, I think, probably an unusual example where um, the equality between these designers uh, has been very pronounced. Whereas quite often in a collaboration, you find that um, it's more of a hierarchy. So I think that, one's, that one stands out here. 